Hey everybody, this is Dr. Kadisha. Your board certified emergency medicine physician. Let's see if anyone's ready to come into the room. Let's enjoy a little a little deep house. I'm sorry, Houston folks, but I'm from DC. I'm from the DC area. I went to school in Baltimore, so I love house music. And actually I have a house DJ in the room right now. Hey Patrick, how are you? This is Dr. Kadisha, your board certified emergency medicine physician. Uh, and as of uh, Friday, I can add author to my credentials as well. As you can see, it's called Help Us Help You in the Emergency Room. And I have another bit of advice for you. How does it sound, Patrick? How's the sound? Awesome. I'm glad you're well. And how's the music? Is it is the sound okay? Okay, guys, so I just want to get started. I know Saturday night and you guys might be, thank you, Patrick. You guys might be getting ready to go to dinner or the movies or something like that. And I just want to give you a little bit of advice because I know the weekend is an unfortunate time to realize that you need a prescription refill. And you may come to the emergency department. Hi, Quinn. Hi, little guy. How are you? The weekend is not a time that you want to realize that you need a prescription refill. And, you know, as I've said before, the ER is the only thing that's open 24-7 for you. But there are also other places that you can go. Uh, depending on the state. Uh, In Houston here, we have hospital-based emergency departments like everywhere else, but we also have freestanding emergency rooms. Uh, We have those in Texas, Rhode Island, South Dakota, Nevada, Colorado, other states. And we also have urgent cares, and I see urgent cares even up in the D.C. areas. I think urgent cares are just about everywhere. You can go there and we even have something called uh, like a ready clinic or walk-in clinic and they can do refills for you too. As long as you're not suffering from any symptoms and it's simply for a med refill, you can go into just about any of those places without waiting for hours in the emergency department waiting room. Okay, so don't be, however, Uh, disappointed if the doctor only writes you for like a few days of your medication. Uh, Since we are not, emergency medicine physicians are not primary care physicians, uh, we typically do not write for uh, 30 days worth of medication because we are not the ones to be following up with you. And if you are a person who doesn't see their primary care doctor regularly or you're non-compliant with your medication, then uh, we are really uh, reluctant to write for more than a few days worth of uh, medication, maybe a week, Uh, But because we really want you to see your primary care doctor and have your response to those medications evaluated because they're, your primary care doctors are the ones who really should be writing for you know, 30, 60, 90 day courses of medication. So here's some, here's some tips to help you 
Uh, stay out of the emergency room, the urgent care, the ready clinic, uh, for waiting for refills. Here's some advice to help keep you from waiting for refills. Hi, Dr. Dietrich. Thanks so much. Dr. Dietrich is the relaxation expert and she's the head of medical staff at her hospital and a relaxation expert. So, you know, she is like the queen of uh, dealing with job stress. So please check her out at Dr. Dietrich G. And Dr. Dietrich, are you doing a live stream tonight? Okay, I'll wait for her to put that in the comments. Just put that in the comments for me. So let's get over these, get through these tips, okay? So number one, try to uh, request your medication refills at least three days before they are needed from your primary care physician's office. Because sometimes, well, they definitely, um, I shouldn't say definitely, but uh, it's rare if they have time to get through all their calls on the same day. They usually have you wait till the next day. So, well, let me let me back up. Let me back up. What, do you guys know if you even need a refill first? Go check your bottles. Go check your bottles. That's the first thing. I'm not saying go do it like right now, but check your bottles to see how many pills you actually have left because uh, you might you might be low and don't even know it right now. So uh, try, don't wait till you're down to your last pill. Have at least three days of medications left, um, you know, before you call for a refill. Or yeah, don't wait till you have no medication left. Two, and and this is uh, and this is um, advice that my primary care physician gave me to give people. Okay, so no prescription may be written for more than six months. So not even your primary care doctor wants to write you for more than uh, six months worth of medication. And they typically don't like to write for refills or authorize refills if your last visit was more than six months ago or if there was a drug dose or change. See, they want to they don't want to just blindly write you for refills and that's why ER doctors emergency medicine physicians are reluctant to write you for refills for more than say a week or so because we're not going to be the ones to follow up with you and uh, this is our first and probably only time seeing you uh, another tip, diabetic medications and attention deficit disorder medications and other um, and habit forming medications might require a three month follow up visit. So if you are on those medications, you should be seeing a doctor every three months, a primary care physician or endocrinologist, someone like that every three months. So this is to help you avoid going to the ER every three months for refills. And a medication may be temporarily refilled only if an office visit has been scheduled. And that uh, most matches the situation in the emergency department. We're writing you for like a temporary refill, just one to tide you over until your office visit. And I know I personally like to make sure that you have a doctor for follow-up, or I like to list a few primary care doctors in the area for you to follow up with in case someone is too busy or you can't reach your regular primary care doctor. So we'll write for the refills, but we're we're usually urging you to see your primary care physician as soon as possible. Uh, and if you develop any change in your condition or develop problems related to medication, call your primary care doctor's office immediately. Sometimes they do have, a lot of times they do have answering service, um, an answering service available and they can page the doctor for you after hours and you might be able to get just the solution that you're looking for without having to go to the emergency department. Now, if your prescription was denied, that probably means you are due for an office visit. That means your primary care doctor wants to see you before you get a refill because there might be a different medication that you need or you might need to go up, up in dosage or down in dosage. And ER doctors, we're we're not the ones to really be adjusting doses unless we absolutely have to. And again, we're not going to write you for more than like maybe a week's worth of medication. And lastly, medications will, for the most part, be written 
with sufficient refills to cover the time period before your next appointment is due. So make an appointment with your primary care physician before your last refill runs out. And then that can take us back to number one, tip number one, which is, you know, don't go down until, don't go down to your last pill before requesting a refill. Have at least three days worth of medications uh, available to you when you call for a refill because it might take a couple days to get that refill done. It's like even if your your primary care doctor does get to you the same day or the next day, your pharmacy might be out of that medication and they might not be able to get it for another uh, day or so. And if you're in an area where drugstores are not on every other corner, you really need to uh, be vigilant about how many uh, doses of medication you have left. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I'm Dr. Kadisha. I'm your board certified emergency medicine physician and I'm an author of Help Us Help You in the Emergency Room. This is what an ER doctor would tell you if she only had the time. You can get it at www.helpushelpyoubook.com. That's H E L P U S H E L P Y O U B O O K dot com. Or you can catch me on Amazon and get the ebook for. Uh, for $2.99. Okay, so again, this is Dr. Kadisha, your board certified emergency medicine physician. Follow me at Dr. Kadisha MD uh, here on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And that is at w, um, D-R-K-A-D-I-S-H-A-M-D. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this um, information is helpful to you. And until next time, have a great evening.